Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we're going to be showing you how to play the newest expansion for the castles of Mad King Ludwig that's currently on Kickstarter called Renovations. This game is designed by Ted Elsback and published by Bezier Games who are helping sponsor this video. If you're not familiar with the base game, Monique and I have already made a video for that which is linked up here which you can check out at your leisure. Today we're just going to be focusing on the Renovations expansion and how to play it. That's right! And this new expansion introduces Renovations mm -hmm. which are basically a new type of room that you use to build over completed rooms that each represent two different different types of rooms in one tile, which means more ways to create combos and score some points. And so today we're going to be showing you how to play it. But before we begin, we do want to mention that our copy is considered a prototype, which means things are subject to change in the final edition. Now, if you are interested in the campaign, there's a link in the description, which you can check out all the details. It's going to be running for the entire month of November. Uh, also, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are ready to begin! So, if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for a two-player game of the Castles of Mad King Ludwig 2nd Edition mm -hmm. with the new Renovations expansion. When incorporating the new Renovations expansion, there are a few changes to set up. Mm -hmm. Mainly, you play with fewer room cards in the deck, and for each room tile you draw, you're going to place out an equivalent size of Renovation tile from the new renovation uh, tile tray. Mm -hmm. Now, renovation tiles are unique because each renovation has two different room types, which means for scoring bonuses, for scoring bonus cards, end game favor tokens, and completing room rewards, each tile counts as both types. Mm -hmm. When playing with this expansion, the basic game structure remains the same, mm -hmm. but the difference is that now during the auction, instead of purchasing one of these tiles, you have the option to purchase a renovation for 5,000 coins. Payment, by the way, still goes to the master builder mm -hmm. or the bank, if you are the master builder. Right. But in order to buy a renovation tile, you must already have another room tile in your castle of the exact same size. And the reason for that is because when adding the renovation tile to your castle, you must completely overbuild on a previously built room. Doing so does not lose you any points for that room that you covered, but from now on, that room is no longer in your castle. That's right. And so for all intents of scoring, you are now only taking into consideration the new renovation tile. Now, when placing a renovation tile, you still score all the points for it, just like when placing a regular room tile. In this example, renovating my salon to the 100 meter room will first score me three points for the tile, two points for the room bonus since it's connected to an outdoor room, as well as two points for the grand bedchamber room bonus since this 100 meter room is both a corridor as well as an activity room. And in this example, when renovating my already completed food prep room with my walk-in closet, wow, what a change. after scoring all of the bonuses, including any other room bonuses, I get to take the room completion rewards for both the sleeping room as well as the utility room. And just a note, you are allowed to build an upstairs renovation tile over a downstairs tile and vice versa, but the relative location still remains the same. So even if the upstairs renovation tile is on a downstairs tile, all other rooms connected to it must still be downstairs tiles. At the end of the round, unlike regular room tiles, you do not put coins on top of the renovation tiles that were not taken. These will stay from round to round. The only time you replenish renovation tiles is when drawing additional room cards for the room tiles on mm -hmm. the auction floor. So now I'm the master builder. We're missing one room tile here. Yep, so I'm going to draw a room card. 300. It is a size 300. And so since we're adding a new room tile and we have fewer than five renovation tiles in a two-player game, we're going to add the same size renovation tile. Mm -hmm. So now we have a full set of five again. A midnight snackery. Ooh. At some points in the game, you might find yourself in a situation where you have fewer renovation tiles than you do room tiles. For instance, in this round, if Monique and I both chose to purchase renovation tiles, then we would not have created any gaps in the market going into the next round, meaning we would not be drawing any cards and not replenishing any renovation tiles. And if you have to add a renovation tile, but its stack is depleted, then you simply skip it and you don't draw an additional one. And lastly, when playing with the renovations expansion, the game only ends as soon as the room deck has been completely depleted, as well as at least two of the room stacks, which may include the stairs and hallways. Mm -hmm. When calculating final scores, unlike room tiles, renovations do not score points for depleted stack bonuses. Otherwise, the rest of endgame scoring works the same way as the base game, keeping in mind that when scoring endgame bonuses, including the king's favor tokens, renovated rooms count as both types when counting rooms of a specific type. For example, this renovation 
called the 100 meter room, is both a corridor and an activity room, which means it's going to count towards both of these king's favor tokens. However, for favorite tokens such as this one, which counts number of large rooms, this renovation only counts as one room. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it. That is essentially how you play with a new renovations expansion. If you have any questions about anything that you saw here today, please feel free to leave us a comment down below and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Now the campaign will be running all throughout the month of November. So if you are interested in it, there is a link in the description down below. And thank you all so much for watching the video. We really hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.